Hello students, am I audible and visible? I'm sorry for the delay. How are you all? Am I audible and visible? Let me see quickly. Audible? Yes, yes. <laughs> let's see, let's see if I'm audible. Hello students. Am yes, I very clear, right? I told you I'll fix the audio. See, I kept my word, I fixed the audio. Okay. So, hello students, welcome to Vedantu Neat English. I am Miss Gopika, your master teacher. And today we are going to continue our human health and diseases, the very, very important topic, AIDS and cancer. So, let me tell it to all of you here who are sitting here and thinking that, you know, uh, what is what questions could come from AIDS and cancer or uh, human health and diseases, everything, all the questions will be from common diseases. No students from AIDS, one question can come at the same way from cancer, one question can come. That means your eight marks right eight marks lies in this topic so you investing two hours will fetch you eight marks and also give you connection with your biotechnology because some of the concepts are connected to your biotechnology okay so can we see a lot of fire emojis in the chat box let's see a lot of energy share it with your friends and ask them to join quickly because we have um I'm telling you, it's going to be an amazing class. And at the end of the session, every single question from AIDS and cancer will be in your fingertip. Okay. Corn, Barek, Karopati types, everything will be in your fingertip. You can click A, B, C, D. Okay. Okay. Let's start the class. So today's plan is this. La last class, we could not do allergy. So I'll be teaching allergy first, autoimmune diseases, and then directly we will go into AIDS and cancer. Okay. And then first, your trick, your brain question comes now. Are you all ready? Are you all ready for the question? Yes, yes, I think all of you are ready. Students, first question. Tell me, tell me which antibody am I showing on the screen? Okay, all of you tell me which is the antibody that you're seeing on the screen. Okay, yes, yes, good evening, good evening. I'm so happy to be back here. <laughs> yes, students, tell me which is the antibody that you're seeing on the screen. That was your first question. And I hope all of you remember your scores from the last class. Most of you got eight, some of you got six, some of you didn't attend at all. So if you know your scores, please add your scores. Okay, let's see the answers. Yes, uh, drug abuse and alcohol will be done in another session because uh, it's again a long topic. I cannot fit it in two hours and I don't want to uh, have a class where I'm not writing notes or I know I'm giving ready-made slides. So that's the reason. Even if it's slow, I will still complete your chapter. Okay. Very good. Subhashini, Subhashini, Nandini, Rohini, all the ini inis, no? And yes, very good. JK, Praveen, Sanvi. Good job, good job. Okay, Kishore, Shivani, Dr. Strange, Shaina, Arjit. Very good, very good. IgA, why is this IgA? Because I told you it is two, two antibodies coming together with the help of a joint chain, right? Because of a joint chain. So this answer is IgA. Very good. Whoever got this, two marks in your hands. Okay. So total your marks and let me know at the end of the session or in the comments. Okay. Or in the comments. Now, students, this is a process. Okay. This is a process. But I want you to tell me the answer of only this. Because I'm sure looking at the diagram, you can identify this. Come on, tell me what is this fourth one. I told you in the functions of antibody, I told you few terms. In that one of the term indicates this. Let me see who is the first student to revise the concept and come. Revise the concept and come. One second, I'll make it full screen so all of you can see. Yes. Visible, visible, clearly visible. I want a fourth one answer. Fourth one answer. Something is happening. Okay. These are the virus which you're seeing. The white color spots are the virus. Okay. <laughs> it's not Corona. This white color spot is the virus. And this antibodies are doing something. So I want the answer. Let me see who is the smart one in the class. Who is the smart one in the class? Yes, go for it. Go for it. Give it a try. Let me see if all of you marked your attendance at the same time. Attendance. Did you all mark your attendance? No bunking, yeah, students. Come on. All of you put a like and mark your attendance that ma'am, yes, I was in the session and I really like the session. Antigen, antibody interaction. Okay. Okay. Students, there's a word for it. Something like, uh, I'll give you a clue. Like eating. Something like eating, I told. Eating. Okay, the next chapter, agglutination. Agglutination is binding. Right? Agglutination is binding. That is this step. 
I don't want this step. I want only the fourth step answer. I only want the fourth step answer. Come on. <laughs> fourth step. Yeah, no one is getting a. Huh? No one is getting. Okay, I'll give you one more clue. It starts with O. The word starts with O. Eating. The word starts with O. More than this, I cannot give a clue. It's a quiz. You should be able to answer. What is this? I told you the word also. Yes, very good, Rupa. Very good, very good. Opsonization, opsonization. Right? Agglutination is what? Binding and not leaving them. Opsonization, eating them. Look at this. Isn't it eating them? Isn't it engulfing them? Right? Phagocytosis types. Yes, very good. Opsonization. Rupa told first, then Kavya told, and then Sanvi told. Very good, Divya. Okay, now all of you are telling. Very good. Eating. Okay, it's opsonization. So, Rupa gets two marks and the uh, Kavya, Sanvi, all of them. Okay, since we tricked our brains, since we, you know, went through a roller coaster of uh, this, let's start the class. Okay, let's start the class. This is the weightage. It remains the same. But I told you, AIDS can fetch you one question. Okay, AIDS can fetch you one question and cancer can fetch you one question. Okay. How many of you, what are the marks you got? All of you put it in the chat box. How many marks all of you got? Let me see who got full marks. Who got full marks? Okay. Students, so let's start. Disorders. Okay. So when I talk about disorders, when I talk about allergy by itself, students, what is happening? Basically, an allergen is coming inside or it is a reaction in your body. That means you're not okay with something and that has come inside, right? Throughout this chapter, we heard the word foreign substance, right? So when a foreign substance enters our body, what is our body going to do? What is our body going to do? That is what we are going to learn. So students, allergy is actually a cell mediated. All of you write notes and you can tag me on Instagram as well. Okay. Cell mediated immunity. Now, what do I mean by cell mediated immunity? That means T cells are helping, right? Who is helping? T cells are helping. T cells are helping in this allergic reaction. Not only that, allergy is a hypersensitivity. Okay, it's a hypersensitive immune response. It's a hypersensitive immune response. Now, what do I mean by hypersensitive immune response? That means the moment you are allergic, the moment you have an allergy, right? You will immediately know it because the entire body starts behaving like that, right? I want all of you to let me know in the chat box if you have any kind of allergy. I have dust allergy. I have dust allergy. If you have hay fever or like pollen allergy, walnut, peanut, bee sting, all that, let me know in the chat box how many of you have what and all types of allergy and also put your marks in the chat box okay how many marks you scored and let's see who scored the highest okay even in the comments put that ma'am i scored this much for two trick your brains that means in the previous session we had an eight marks question and again we have here also so students let me know how much you got so eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve marks is the total so you should have got twelve marks if you got twelve marks great okay yes it's a hypersensitivity immune response. Okay, clear to all of you. Now, can anyone tell me which is the antibody that is actually going to help in allergy? I have taught you this. When I wrote the types of antibody, I mentioned one antibody. Who can tell this? This is the free question. <laughs> free question. One mark you will get just by answering this question. Let me know, students. What is, what is the antibody that is actually helping in allergy? It is IgE, right? IgE, remember writing it? So students, IgE is the one who is going to be helping for whenever there is an allergic reaction. Okay, let's understand what happens when there is an allergic reaction. That means the moment an allergen enters. Now, what is an allergen? A person who causes the allergy. Exactly. Simple. Okay, so when I talk, say IgE is the antibody. Okay, antibody which is going to be released. Okay, and what is an allergen? What is an allergen, students? Allergen. That means anything that causes an allergy. Correct? Agreed, all of you? <laughs> that causes 
and allergy students these notes are very very important so do not forget to download the notes later on our telegram channel okay because this notes will have everything that you need for aids and cancer every single word of ncrt and even if there is an extra information that has been asked like previous year there are uh, we have seen some questions which has been asked those also will be included in this so do not forget everything that you need will be in this notes okay yes sneezing runny nose okay most of you have dust allergy that is what i have noticed most of you have dust allergy i don't think any of you have like allergy to sun or allergy to walnuts and all that right that is a good thing actually because um that kind of allergy is a very severe okay so students allergen in anything causes an allergy now what happens when an allergen enters inside my body okay let's understand that so students the moment okay the moment an allergen enters into my body okay who is entering allergen so the moment allergen enters into my body mast cells okay mast cells which are present in every loose connective tissue okay mast cells which are present in every loose connective tissue will release something called as histamine okay it will release histamine now what is this histamine going to do students histamine is going to simply vasodilate the blood vessel so this is the imagine this is how much the blood vessel is okay this is how much the blood vessel is the moment histamine is you know histamine is released by the mast cells it will start vasodilating the blood vessel okay can you see it increased it. now because this histamine is doing vasodilation what is it doing vasodilation don't you think the blood flow will be more yes students don't you think the blood flow will be more because the blood flow will be more because the blood flow increases have you seen when you have allergy your nose gets red sometimes when you have walnut peanut type of allergy the moment you have something you will start seeing rashes everywhere have you seen this students yes or no have you seen rashes all over your body redness and then you will start get you will feel itchiness how is it happening it is happening because this mast cells will release histamine this histamine will vasodilate when it vasodilates the blood flow will increase more blood flows right? imagine uh, the theater door opens theater door opens for leo movie people are just rushing doors will break open correct doors will break open people start uh, start entering will be increased right so that will cause to what that will cause problem same way here also immediately you start seeing rashes redness in your face and in your hands clear to all of you <laughs> oh like uh, okay some of you even have prawns and all as allergy yeah, i even uh, even my mom has allergy to some kind of seafoods okay so she didn't recognize it at first later she understood she started having itching rashes that's when she understood that she has allergy to seafood okay that is also possible okay is this clear mast cells release histamine that histamine will do vasodilation not only vasodilation it is also capable of doing bronchial constrictor it is a bronchial constrictor that means what it will not allow enough air to enter it will not allow enough air to enter okay so that that is clear students let's understand the types of allergy now that you understood what happens when an allergen in, uh, enters inside let's see how this is going to affect each of the types okay so first one is hay fever students hay fever is caused by what pollen allergy that means some of them imagine okay one guy is coming happily with a set of roses okay so roses to you but you have pollen allergy unfortunately what will you do instead of appreciating him for bringing the flowers you will start sneezing on him he does not know what is hay fever because he is a commerce student you are the only science student is there he does not know that the mast cells are releasing histamine at the wrong time do mast cells care do mast cells care no no they do not care 
so mars cells will keep releasing histamine it will keep re- uh, releasing vasodilation suddenly your entire face will start getting red you will start having rashes this boy will be like what is happening when i saw her or when i saw, met this guy they were looking different now they are looking different correct so hay fever is caused because of your pollen right here also what is going to happen again mars cells will be released irritation will come everything will come okay so you should tell people that i have hay fever so please do not bring me flowers on any kind of special day because i do not deserve it i do not deserve allergy you should tell like that not because i don't deserve it i don't deserve allergy did you all like the session did you all like the session yes or no students otherwise you will get allergy students allergy will come okay what allergy will come you will get allergy to liking sessions that is your people's allergy that is one extra allergy which i have noticed in all of you that you have allergy to like you have allergy in liking that means the moment you click on the like button no for you histamine will release full rashes will come redness will come so you'll be like no need to like i will just avoid this how much our teacher is teaching no you'll be like ignore ignore i i do not care about how much efforts is going right <laughs> yes yes everything will happen in a microsecond falling in love uh, getting up from a love everything will happen in that moment because that fellow does not or that girl does not know that you have hay fever okay like that some other kinds of allergies are what students uh, now hay fever is one allergy other than that asthma all right some people tell asthma it's asthma so what is happening here okay here also students who is the villain no one is the villain the allergen is the villain now imagine dust has entered okay again your mast cells will release histamine will release histamine what did i tell histamine is also histamine is not only doing vasodilation it is also capable of doing bronchiole it it can also constrict your bronchioles right it is a bronchiole constrictor when bronchioles getting constrict right when the bronchioles constrict what is going to happen the amount of air that should come in the amount of oxygen that you need to take in is not there so your res- your respiration rate reduces or you will feel difficulty in breathing right when this happens what is going to happen you are going to have difficulty in breathing okay difficulty in breathing clear to all of you asthma then there is um, this is a very severe one anaphylactic shock okay students here what do i say about this students this anaphylactic shock is usually caused when you are like when you are been uh, when you ate peanut by mistake you have peanut allergy but you didn't know about it or maybe there was some you know very less uh, peanut crushed into some kind of ice cream some kind of something okay <laughs> yes okay students no spammers in the class okay no hi bye how are you and all that not required you talk to me you tell yes or no ma'am allergen ma'am asthma ma'am that ma'am this ma'am okay that's all full this is one side conversation you only talk to me okay yes so anaphylactic shock means when you have consumed by mistake you have consumed peanut okay by mistake you have consumed walnut or you got stinged by a bee during this time what happens students histamine will do vasodilation histamine will also do bronchial uh, that is constriction because of this you will feel unconscious at some point you will also feel lack you will not be able to breathe this can also lead to death at the same time your bp also will drop so anaphylactic shock is very very severe it's very severe most critical one that is because the moment this person eats this no that person will or most of the time become unconscious or they will start having immediate allergies on the face so what is going to happen right what is going to happen i'm writing it here down <laughs> students write this write this flow chart very very important so students mast cells okay will release histamine okay this histamine will do multitasking and the main thing that it does is bp low because the bp gets low a person can also die because of it or a person can become unconscious 
ओके अ पर्सन कैन डाई बिकॉज ऑफ इट और अ पर्सन बिकम्स अनकॉन्शियस क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू Yes, so this is anaphylactic shock, and this is the reason why you have seen people that when they eat something, no, you would have seen continuous face full rashes. Have you seen anyone like this? <laughs> have you seen anyone like this? Full face may they start, you know, getting um, allergies. Ah, uh, see, asthma. The allergen can be dust. Some people it can be pollen. It depends people to people, but the main reason is dust. Right, dust can happen at the same time. Um, your Uh, pollens can happen uh, most of them have like it depends people to people some people also will have because of some kind of food or some kind of medicines okay some people like end up eating dolo or anything citrusin or uh, all this all this tablets sometimes when they eat certain kind of tablets also they will get this kind of allergen so allergen can be anything students okay allergen can be anything clear yes yes or no okay fine yes so students this is uh, just i have just uh, given this for your understanding okay so b cells are the plasma cells are you can see mast cells are there they will release chemicals that is your histamine that will release to symptoms so only once histamine is released you will be able to see some symptoms in your body okay otherwise you will not have any kind of symptom okay now students let's understand what is autoimmune disease autoimmune disease is very very simple okay allergy clear if allergy is clear put uh, yellow color heart in the chat box Hello, color heart in the chat box. Okay, yes, students. Now autoimmune disease. Okay, now when I talk about autoimmune disease, you have a friend, but you are actually jealous of your friend's growth. So you say, so not you people say some student. Okay, some people who are unhealthy or who are not having a good social uh, well-being. Those to those people have very much jealousy about their friend. So they will start, uh, you know, hurting their friend. They will start, um, you know, um, spamming their friends or something like that. What happens at that time? Only four people understood allergy. So you will have mock test. Okay, mock test this Sunday. You will have mock test for this chapter. So only this yellow color heart people. I will look at their results. Other people's results, I'm not going to look. Okay. <laughs> Where is my yellow color heart? It seems Shaina lost her heart, students. That to yellow color heart she lost, not even red color. Praveen has put a traffic signal sign. Yellow color <laughs> traffic signal, ma'am. You can move on now. Okay, students. Yes. Autoimmune disease means what is happening actually? That means your immune system, your immune system starts. recognizing your own cells has a problem that means your immune system goes against your own you know you, your own body okay that is what is happening that means it starts killing the self cells that means it starts killing its own cells which is going to cause a big problem right what is going to happen when the immune system itself is against the body right when immune system when immune system is against itself now you are a need aspirant if you are it you are you are only demotivating yourself you are only demotivating yourself then who else can help you no teachers can help you right because you are going against yourself when that kind of a thing happens it is very very severe now autoimmune diseases if you see on the board um you can see that when this immune system drops when this immune system drops there will be some people waiting no some opportunities okay two friends are breaking or two friends friendship is breaking i will become their friend right they st slowly start becoming friends with this person they slowly start talking this to this person have you seen this people they are called as opportunists that means they wait for the opportunity and then they attack yes or no students all of you would have faced this okay so that kind of some diseases are your uh, multi uh, wait i'll mark it with another color multi okay multi sclerosis let's write it here these are your auto immune that means when your immune system goes against itself what is going to happen it is going to cause diseases like this okay and then we have uh, your uh, arthritis rheumatoid arthritis okay this is also a problem okay this is very commonly caused okay then your um, joint pain can come pulmonary fibrosis can come impaired vision can come uh, not only that uh, then yeah that uh, then myocarditis okay all this can come 
स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ दिस इयर ओके आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ यूर इयर यस 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 करेक्ट करेक्ट शिव कुमार आर्थराइटिस एंड योर माइस्थीनिया ग्रेविस ऑल दीज डिसीज आर ऑटो इम्यून डिसीज ओके दैट मीन्स वेन योर बॉडी गोज अगेंस्ट योर सेल्फ दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट कैन बी हैपनिंग ओके क्लियर ओके येस नो क्लियर students multi uh, that is multi sclerosis is when your myelin sheath gets damaged that means when your neuron when your neuron myelin sheath the the shock absorber the coating for your entire neuron gets damaged right that causes your multi sclerosis is it uh, understood deepa okay fine students all the diseases i have mentioned here no, so i am not separately writing here this is for your understanding because you will find it easy when you study from images okay all the uh, what to tell all the diseases are mentioned here so you do not have to worry even if i have not written it on the notes clear autoimmune diseases now students next one is that is again when it comes under disorders we are studying disorders the first one was allergy second one was autoimmune disease the third one is graft rejection graft rejection you have already studied it in excretion right that means both the kidneys fail of a person not only kidney anything for example both the kidneys fail of a person what they are they are going to do they are going to take a kidney from a donor now what happens when we take a kidney from the donor right let's not you two humans okay Okay, this is one human. This is another human. Okay. Now imagine this this person's. Okay, this person's kidney. Both the kidneys failed. Okay, gone. Okay, both the kidneys failed. Now what is it going to do? It's going to take kidney from this person. Right. This person has both healthy kidney. So he'll be like, it's okay. I will give you my kidney. So this this. person is going to, uh, going to do transplantation kidney transplant he is going to do now what is going to happen when this kidney is transplanted to this person okay when this kidney is transplanted to this person this this uh, what is the recipient's body okay this recipient's body will look at this okay this recipient's body will look at it as a foreign particle it does not know this well this person's kidney has gone or not right it does not care also <laughs> this is the recipient this is the donor correct now when the recipient when the donor gives the kidney to the recipient the recipient body does not know that this donor is helping me what will it do it will think this is a foreign particle and immediately start forming antibodies it will keep forming antibodies and try to reject this kidney understood understood body also rejects students not only you people body also rejects okay so this happens this is called as graft rejection graft rejection that means when you take something from another person not like a pencil scale and all that okay when you take a organ from a person okay that time the body will reject and think that this is a foreign particle coming into my body so i have to start forming antibodies and it becomes difficult for you know transplantation to happen but at that point of time we have all learned an immunosuppressant right an immuno suppressant which is the immunosuppressant all of you study tell me the example of an immunosuppressant tell me all of you immunosuppressant will be added so that this graft rejection does not take place now students graft rejection need not be always okay all of you can type the immunosuppressant name there then i'll tell students graft rejection does not have to be only organ there are times that when we do plastic surgery when people do plastic surgery for face to look beautiful or to look or to cover up any injuries in their face that time there are chances that they take skin from their own thighs or they take skin from another person okay and there are cases where we uh, there was one case where uh, a pig's heart was transplanted into a human's heart definitely that the person could not survive for a longer time but still they have done that so that kind also come very good very good cyclosporin a correct cyclosporin a good job so this immunosuppressant will make sure that graft rejection does not happen so what did i say i told you that it need not be always an organ transplantation it can also be uh, like your auto 
इट कैन बी एलोग्राफी एलोग्राफी ऑटोग्राफी आई टेल यू वॉट इज ऑल दिस इवन आइसोग्राफी इज देर ओके ऑल दिस दिस ऑटोग्राफी एलोग्राफी इज वेन बी टेक right when we take from another organism or when we take from our self or when we take from same species all this is allography and autography okay <laughs> very good cyclosporin a all of you remember so students look here autography is when you are taking from a same that means when you are taking from a same human that means i am doing a plastic surgery i am taking my own thighs muscles and i am adding for the plastic surgery so that means it's from the same human same human iso uh, your isography means when they they take from the twins twins you know no two people are similar right so they take from there okay then you have your allography that means you take from the same species okay same species clear to all of you is there anyone who has doubt okay now what do you call when you take from another species that means you humans take from animals that time you call it scenography सीनोग्राफी डिफरेंट स्पीशीज क्लियर येस और नो क्लियर येस वेरी गुड नो 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 द इम्यूनो सप्रेसन विल बी गिवन फॉर ओनली सम टाइम अंटिल द रिएक्शन आर नॉट वेरी हार्मफुल बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन द बॉडी स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग एंटीबॉडीज इन यू नो अ लॉर ऑफ अमाउंट देर आर चांसेस दैट द पर्सन कैन डाई राइट द पर्सन कैन डाई बिकॉज द बॉडी इज कंटिन्यूसली रिजेक्टिंग सो टू कंट्रोल अंटिल द एंटायर ट्रांसप्लांटेशन हैपन अंटिल द कंट्रोल हैपन्स इम्यूनो सप्रेसन विल बी गिवन ओके येस सो Students, that is all about allergy. Very small topic. Very, uh, very nice topic also. So now we are going to study AIDS. Okay, AIDS means what's the full form of AIDS? What is AIDS? Ready for understanding AIDS? Yes or no? Students, AIDS means acquired. Okay, acquired immuno deficiency syndrome. Okay, let's first decode the word. So, students, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Acquired means what? That means this is hap. This is not from birth. It is not innate immunity. It is acquired immunity, or it is say uh, acquired disease, right? It is acquired disease. That means we have not got this by birth, but we might have got this later in our life, right? Later in our life. Okay, sometimes from the mother to the child it happens, but it is not necessary that every human by birth should have this. No, it's not a necessary thing, right? Sometimes it can acquire immuno deficiency disease. Now, syndrome means what? It will affect multiple organs, right? It will affect multiple organs. Now, immuno deficiency what? That means it is playing with our immune system. That means it is playing with our immune system. Clear to all of you? Syndrome means when it affects multiple organs. It does not only affect one organ. When it affects multiple organs, when it damages multiple organs, it is called as your syndrome. Okay. Now, students, let's understand a little about its history. so the first the first ever uh, case was in 1981 and where was it it was in usa that was the first case of aids but then that time also they were not sure if this was aids they thought it was some rare fungus right they thought it was some rare fungus okay yes it is also called the slim disease which most of the people don't actually write it is also called a slim disease it's not because a person becomes slim it's just named like that okay it's called slim disease now students the first case was in 1981 and it was seen in usa but they thought it was some rare fungus they didn't know this was a virus and they didn't know this was deadly the second case okay the second case okay yes the second case was in 1986 not very far in 5 years gap it happened again 1986 and it was first seen in chennai it was first seen in chennai so this is the history this is the history of aids okay very small history first when did the case happen what did they understand from that case and what would have happened so it was in 1986 first in india okay it was first 
the uh, first case was in india now students when we talk about it what is the causative agent or who is the pathogen who is who is the villain of the story right the villain of the story or the pathogen or say the causative agent causative agent is h i v what is h i v full form what is h i v full form human immuno what is the full form tell me quickly human immuno deficiency virus similar no names are similar right so this human immuno deficiency virus is not very small villain it's a very very sh smart villain human immuno deficiency virus so students this um, what to tell your hiv human immuno deficiency virus was actually not a virus that we could be like a oh, very small villain who comes in the first of the movie gets two hittings from the hero and then dies no this villain was very smart this villain was very sharp now who found this villain right there should be someone who worked on this or someone who told that oh this is a human immuno deficiency virus and this virus is deadly who told that students yes very good most of you are answering some of you are just sitting and not doing anything which is very bad students uh, luke okay luke was the person who first who first uh, what to tell found this hiv okay first found this hiv okay can you all do some work can you all do some work like write the notes all of you Okay, so Luke Montagna was the first person who found this HIV, or who noticed that there is something like this, and he was from France. Okay, he was from France. Clear to all of you? And then we had one more uh, person called as Robert Gallo. Robert Gallo. He was from USA. These two people was helping in finding HIV. clear to all of you these two people was trying to or helping in finding hiv now i told so much about hiv now you need to know hiv is what type of a virus right so i'm writing it here your hiv okay it comes it belongs to lentivirus or it and it belongs to retrovirus now you'll be like ma'am retrovirus means what that means it is dancing to 90s songs and it is wearing that polka dotted shirt and it's dancing that is what retrovirus means yes all of you understood that is what retrovirus means that means this person is a very old person he is dancing to 80s songs and he is um, just enjoying life no <laughs> that's a joke students so retrovirus means r e okay re right re stands for re Tro stands for reverse transcriptase. Okay, retro re stands for reverse, and tro stands for transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase. We have learned this in molecular basis of inheritance. Central dogma. When we learned, we understood that there is reverse transcription. That means RNA gets converted to DNA. Who gets converted to DNA? RNA gets converted to DNA. Clear to all of you? Yes or no? Okay, so when RNA gets converted to DNA, we call it reverse transcriptase. Why is this virus so deadly? The virus is so deadly because it's able to do reverse transcription. Clear to all of you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Students, what I've drawn here or what are the image is a HIV, HIV virus. Now let's start labeling it. Okay, very important. So students, this entire virus, you know what is the virus structure? It has a protein core, it has a capsome here, it has a capsid, it has um, a genome inside this. It will le let this genome go inside the host body and just continue the replication. Yes or no? Yes or no? Right. Now what is actually happening? What is actually happening? Water break, ma'am. Thank you. I have to drink water. <laughs>
Shaina is telling Baswara sir to take break because I am taking class. Abba. Okay. So students, this one. Okay, this virus. Normally, what is there in the virus? Protein, capsomeres, capsid. All this is there. Genome. All of this is there. No. Now look here. This circular structures which you are seeing, they are glycoproteins. Glycoproteins. So this circular, this lollipop-like structure. No. So in this lollipop. So say this is the structure. Okay, this is the structure. All of you see here. One goal is there. One stick is there, right? This GP one twenty. This GP forty one. Okay, these are the labelings. Okay, so let's label this. This is GP one twenty, and the stick-like structure, right? The stick which you're seeing here is your GP forty one. Understood? These are all glycoproteins. Okay, and then you can see this double layer. There is one light pink layer and one dark pink layer, very clearly visible on the screen. Yes or no? Okay, there is a light pink and there is a dark pink. This light pink and dark pink, that two layers are also very important because why? They are also the they are actually helping in guarding them. Yes or no, students? There is always a poly uh, phospholipid layers which actually helps. There is a bi layer, right? So this layer, so I'll draw like this. This layer with your this layer is your phospholipid layer. Phospholipid bi layer actually, right? Two layers are there. Now, students, this this three people who GP one twenty, GP forty one, and your phospholipid layer together forms the envelope envelope of virus. Envelope of virus. That means who makes the outer coating of the virus. Okay. Now, if you look inside, okay, if you look inside, you can see there is one, uh, you know, one, one. I don't know, rectangular shape structure. There is a rectangular shape structure. Can you all see this? Can you all see this? A rectangular shape structure, clearly visible, clearly visible. Okay, this rectangular shape structure is your capsid. Is your capsid. That means inside the capsid, who will be there? All of you tell me inside the capsid capsule. I mean, sorry, inside the capsid, who will be there? Who will be there inside the capsid? Tell quickly. <laughs> no one will be there inside the capsid. Who will be there inside the capsid? Who is protected inside the capsid? Tell, tell, quick, quick. Whoever tells the answer, let's see. Who's going to tell the answer? So inside the capsule, you can already see one orange color person going around. Very good. RNA. Who told? Praveen told first. Very good. RNA is there, or your genome, genetic material is there, right? So you can see students' genetic material. Actually, in this, there is a front image. If you take the back image also, there is two two genomes. Okay, two genomes. And what are they? What are they? They are your single stranded RNA. Single stranded RNA. How many are there? Two molecules of them. Two molecules of your single stranded RNA is there. Clear to all of you? So you have GP one, uh, GP one twenty, GP forty one, phospholipid bilayer which forms the envelope, and then you have a capsid layer. Inside the capsid layer, genome will be there, and it is made up of a single stranded RNA, and two molecules of single stranded RNA will be there. Okay. Now there is this one more layer which is the matrix. Okay, which is not very visible in this. One more layer like this will form, which will be the matrix. Okay. I will uh, send you a drawing, the structure which I drew. I will send you with the. Um, on the telegram channel okay on the telegram channel i have drew a structure i will send you that structure you can all follow that structure for your labeling or studying and all that okay this is just to make it interesting because this looks like a 3d structure and you will be able to imagine these colors yes that day ma'am drew it in purple color it was in purple color there was a stick there was a lollipop you can be you will be able to remove okay uh, sorry remember okay students look here inside this capsid inside this capsid i am going to draw dots okay there is this one huge white dot okay one huge white dot there is a uh, one huge yellow dot okay and there is all of you can see white dot and yellow dot yes and there is this one huge blue dot now what are these dots 
So if these dots are the enzymes that is actually helping your HIV virus to survive inside the host body. Okay. Now let's see which are the enzymes. Let's see which are the enzymes. The white one which has drawn. Okay. White one which I have drawn is your. One second. One second. There's a delay. Okay. <coughs> yes. Students, the white one which I have drawn is your integrase integrase what is it going to do it is going to integrate what is it going to integrate it is going to integrate to survive in the host body by becoming the viral dna that means it's going to help in the integration it is going to help in that you know when the virus comes inside our, our body will be confused who is this fellow so this integrase will do the help of making all of this one genome or telling our genome to work according to the rna that job will be done by hope integrase will do the job okay then the yellow color one that i've drawn yellow color one that i've drawn is your protease protease what is protease going to do? It is going to make sure that viral, viral proteins are formed inside the host body. It is going to make sure that viral, viral proteins are formed inside the host body. Very smart, no? This virus is, it will start forming viral protein. Okay, clear? Then the one that I have drawn in blue color. The one that I have drawn in blue color, all of you know. Reverse transcriptase. Who is it? Reverse transcriptase. Do I have to tell what it is going to do? It is going to convert RNA into DNA to survive in the host body. Because virus know that in the host body DNA is there. What is the point of me going like an RNA? Right? Right? A Halloween party is happening. What is the point if I go like one priest? Halloween party is happening. If, what if I go like uh, something else like which is not supposed to be in that place? I have to go like a ghost. I have to go like a um, like a pumpkin or whatever. Whatever that you dressed up in a Halloween party, right? I have to go like Annabella. I have to go like that. Instead of that, if I go like a saint or a priest or a guru, what is the point? Out of the league, no. So this virus is very smart. So virus is going to do what? What is the point of me going as an RNA? I will just convert it into DNA because I am capable of doing reverse transcription. That is what your viral DNA and uh, viral um, reverse transcriptase is going to do. Is this clear? Is this clear? Structure is clear. Every single thing is clear. Yes or no? If yes, put light the chat box. Burn the chat box. Come on. <laughs> Burn the chat box. Yes, go for it, go for it. People are very confused. I have to keep telling every five minutes. So students, three enzymes are there. Uh, in, uh, integrase, protease and your RNA, reverse transcriptase. Okay, which will convert your RNA to DNA. Clear or not? Clear or not? So this is your structure of HIV. I will also draw a structure and uh, send it to you. Okay? Yes. Fine. Students, now that we understood the structure, we understood how chala this HIV virus is, now it is time for us to understand how it is actually entering our body, what it is doing. Something is there. Right? Something is there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shaina. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, students. So, mode of action. For mode of action, let's first draw a box. Okay, that box is our body. Okay, that is one. Oh. Hello. this can you all see the box clear no this is the box okay now this box is macrophages now i'll tell you why macrophages students so there is cd4 receptors that actually helps 
okay where the hiv this gp that glycoprotein which you saw no the lollipop that structure has to come and bind where to the receptor agreed all of you all of you know that all of you know that receptors are waiting oh when will you know they come and bind correct so that is only that can only bind right that can only bind with the help of cd4 receptor not every receptor not every receptor can uh, you know take in the hiv virus only cd4 receptor now you have to understand cd4 receptor is present only in some cells in our body okay first one is macrophages macrophages second one is your t helper cells t helper cells third one is your dendritic cells okay these three people some places you will also see monocytes okay sometimes you will also see monocytes okay <laughs> now students look here this three cells okay this oh, oh this three cells have cd4 receptors on the outside of them so they will hiv knows correctly where to come so this is your macrophage okay this is your macrophage so imagine imagine the receptor is there okay imagine the receptor is there here like this is waiting opening its mouth and it's waiting without knowing that it is actually bringing in an enemy okay this might look like a satellite dish in your uh, home terrace but you should understand this is a receptor now what is going to happen hiv knows to come in right hiv knows to come in so this is your hiv okay this right look here this glycoprotein will come and bind glycoprotein will come and bind okay i'm writing here hiv now the moment this cd4 receptors accept this hiv isn't it going to enter inside isn't it going to enter inside will virus ever put their capsomer inside and go outside and sleep no it will first put its genome inside right so what is it going to do it is going to before that i will also draw one more thing okay yes so students it is going to put the genome inside correct it is going to put its s uh, ss rna inside now this ss rna what will it do in macrophage no use so ss rna will be converted to what it will be converted to dna it will be converted to dna with the help of whom with the help of whom reverse transcriptase with the help of reverse transcriptase agreed all of you reverse transcriptase right now it got converted to dna now it is easy to be in the host body right it has become one among us it has become one among us what is it going to do students now <laughs> it is going to take integrase help and try to get into the nucleus every cell has a nucleus yes or no it will have its own genome right we also have our own genome correct our own dna structure genome everything will be there with the help of integrase this dna will try to enter into our nucleus it will try to enter into our nucleus i'm writing all the enzymes in um, blue color it will try to enter into inside our nucleus and ask the nucleus or change manipulate integrate manipulate the nucleus and ask the nucleus to do viral protein instead of doing our protein this nucleus will start doing viral protein clear or not clear or not this is our nucleus okay this is our genome now what is it going to do with the help of integrase it is going to integrate our host dna into viral dna and ask this to start forming viral protein so at the end of this it is going to start forming viral protein correct okay? yes or no all of you got this with the help of protease right it will form its viral protein with the help of protease now to start forming viral proteins now this will help them to multiply right and it will give rise to oh wait i will write it okay this one <laughs> viral protein okay now this will help them to multiplicate and form many hivs many hivs yes or no yes or no 
many hivs will come out many hivs will come out now this hivs are going to do what they are going to infect the other cells yes or no they are going to infect other cells this is actually what is happening inside our body any doubt so far <coughs> any doubt so far yes or no doubt is there doubt is not there doubt is there doubt is not there doubt is there no right so students clear so what has happened hiv will come and bind on what cd4 receptor cd4 receptors are present only in these cells this is a macrophage cell okay this is a macrophage cell cell okay this is a macrophage cell now what is going to happen cd4 uh, uh, the hiv virus came to the cd4 receptor binding happened it got inside with the help of single stranded rna single stranded rna got converted into dna with the help of reverse transcriptase that dna with the help of integrase got into the nucleus made our viral dna to start forming Con our host dna got converted into viral dna and that viral dna it got mixed with our genome and it started telling this what it should do it may it asked them to form viral protein with the help of protease and then they kept multiplying inside the cells right they kept multiplying this inside the cell now what has happened macrophages has become the factory factory for hiv production yes or no it has become the factory for hiv production clear students protease is simple this now this nucleus is not in our control virus has taken over the nucleus and asked this genome to work for us so it will start forming what you all know central dogma right dna gets converted to mrna mrna gets converted into protein at the last protein will control all the functions in our body correct protein will help us in one one features and whatever physical traits we need now this genome will start forming viral proteins now when it starts forming viral proteins don't you think new new hivs are formed right because protein is there in the outer coat inside genome is there protein formation is very difficult for them if their host body is not manipulated they started forming viral proteins simple simple protease will help in forming viral proteins that viral proteins only will give rise to new ones right so like that they will start spreading simple keep the uh, image of your virus always and then try to understand then they try to understand students but one thing good that the virus does not do is it does not kill macrophages it does not kill macrophages it does not kill macrophages but the moment it enters the t helper cells because you know the t helper cells is the one who has cd4 receptors after macrophages the moment it enters the t helper cells it will start killing the t helper cells okay i will teach you that in the next slide so this is the diagram from your ncrt i have just added it so it, i can explain it to you through this also so students look here viral protein code it will um, send us uh, rna inside okay so rna gets converted to dna with the help of reverse transcriptase that viral dna will be incorporated into host genome that is your nucleus it will start entering there and it will ask this so new viral dna is produced by the infected cell that means it was manipulating this genome to start forming new viral right so it will start forming new viruses are produced or it will start forming new viral protein that will lead to the formation of new virus clear or not <laughs> protease can do protein formation that means viral proteins are formed right viral proteins will be formed correct yes or no so students new viral dna is produced so what is going to happen when this genome gets manipulated when this genome gets manipulated with the help of protease they will form proteins then with the help of this genome they will also form new R dna rna for it and like that they will complete one virus structure simple proteins are required for the virus structure because that is the outer coat genomes are required that they will do get it done with this manipulation clear praveen is this clear rna and protein formation will all happen here protein formation with the help of protease that's all is what i'm trying to say clear okay <laughs> yes fine this new uh, rna virus will start going to the new cells okay then students i told you that it it actually 
it actually uh, does not kill the macrophages it does not kill the macrophages it uses macrophages as a factory for the formation it uses macrophages as the factory when it gets the t helper cell when it, when it enters to the t helper cells it actually kills the t helper cells okay it kills the t helper cells okay it kills the t helper cells and this killing of t helper cells will actually reduce reduce our immunity right it will reduce our immunity agreed all of you because when t helper cells are reduced our immune re immunity also is reducing the total immune um, system is getting weak so when the system gets weak students actually from aids a person will not die quickly because it almost takes 5 to 10 years sometime to even detect that that person has aids but the person will die because of other opportunistic you know uh, influenzas like your tb and your myasthenia gravis all these will affect them because the immunity is reduced even sometimes a normal allergy can lead to death why because again immune system is weak then anything can enter any bacteria any pathogen can enter correct so the entire immune system is weak immune system is weak clear clear so that is what happens in your t helper cells okay symptoms are uh, again symptoms are not very clear in the starting they will have fever they will feel feel very lethargic okay and uh, they will have chills sometimes uh, sometimes they will also have loss of appetite okay and uh, some kind of uncomfortable feeling uh, in uh, uh, sometimes they will have nausea vomiting Okay, these are the symptoms students because it takes a lot of time to find this out right it takes a lot of time to figure this disease out it usually goes for a longer time okay so these are the uh, the what did I transmission how does it get transmitted okay so students look here the first transmission is because of a use of a non sterile syringes that means you use a syringe used by an infected person it could be when you're going to get a tattoo done or it could be when you're going to get a um, uh, injection done okay during that time if you use a syringe which is used by an infected person that time you will get aids because it is mainly possible because of transfusion of blood okay and then pregnancy breastfeeding that means from the colostrum of the mother also transmission can happen to the child okay then blood transfusion that means when you have um, thalassemia or when you have some kind of a disease when you have to keep changing your blood or blood transfusion has to happen that time also aids can be spread if you do not do proper checkup there are a lot of people there are a lot of you know blood banks which does not do a checkup and they just take blood from any random person who is willing to uh, give blood for money that time this kind of aids will get happen okay students lethargic means very tired they don't feel like you know doing uh, they're not active they're not energetic okay and then organ transplantation again direct contact with the blood again aids will get transmitted okay unprotected sex that means if you are having any kind of um you know um any kind of uh, sexual transmission or if you are doing any kind of uh, with with multiple partner partners okay if you are having any kind of uh, connection with multiple partners you are doing sex with multiple partners there are high chances that you will have aids okay and not using proper barriers like condoms not using them properly and not using them can also lead to aids and this is the reason why they are trying to maximum you know uh, spread the knowledge to people in rural areas who are not aware of this the, uh, in rural areas we see aids a lot right we see aids a lot that is because they are not very aware of the usage of barriers they are not very aware of um, family planning or controlled birth controls and all that that is the reason as a science student as a future doctor you should be able to give the knowledge to your family relatives anyone whom you know who whom you think is not um, protected or is um, you know not bothered about any of this they will end up having aids okay so that things you have to keep in mind but also there is a misconception that aids can be spread just because you eat food with them you drink from the same water bottle you kiss that person no students aids cannot be spread 
because of that okay when if you're drinking water from that person's bottle or you're eating food from the same plate you're sitting next to that person you're holding hands you're hugging that person aids will not get spread okay that is a misconception and i've seen lot of people being mistreated because they have aids and lot of them are small kids who has been got who has got aids from their mothers they are not they are not responsible for anything they didn't even know that they have aids so you should not do that difference when you see a person or when you see that a person has is going through aids you as time students you as future doctors should not have that difference you should tell people that just because you hold their hands or just because you feed them food that person is not we are not going to get aids okay it does not spread from aerosols it does not spread from mosquito bites no it is only by pure 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 blood transfusion or by unprotected sexual uh, intercourses okay yes uh, using same toilets and all that clear to all of you now diagnostic test that means how do you identify in case you have aids or how do you understand okay in case you have aids yes fluid transmission is exactly your blood right what are the fluids in our body what are the fluids in our body right so students as i told you incubation period is longer okay incubation period is longer it can go up to 5 to 10 years you might not even know that you have aids uh, that is because hiv is still building the entire family entire family inside your body and then other <coughs> Uh, so th- because of this, your way to find out is ELISA. Okay, ELISA. That is your enzyme. Okay, enzyme immuno. Oh, sorry, enzyme. Enzyme linked. Immunosorbent assay. You will study the detail in biotechnology. student this is basically your antigen antibody interaction and elisa cannot always be correct there are chances that elisa's uh, results can be negative in case elisa's results are sorry in case it is false positive whenever elisa's results are false positive sometimes because see elisa cannot detect elisa cannot detect aids until it is full bo- bl- uh, full blown aids that means completely if the aids are not completely you know spread completely spread sometimes elisa cannot detect it okay if elisa cannot detect it that means you are getting false positive yes or no you are getting false positive when you get false positive what is the confirmatory test so students the confirmatory test that you can do is western blotting confirmatory test is western blotting western blot okay then other way for finding it is your pcr which is more uh, i think more better than elisa because elisa can only be understood when it is full blown aids right so pcr is a good method okay pcr is a good method polymerase chain reaction is a good method okay so these are your diagnostic test for finding out if you have aids or not okay this is your uh, textbook okay in case anyone has a doubt you can check your ncert every point is discussed okay so students here we are going to understand about uh, what is the prevention right so you know that uh, the prevention is by cutting short on your transmission that means when you are going to a tattoo artist you should ask them is the needle new right if you go to a good tattoo artist if you go to a good place they will definitely tell you ma'am this is a new needle i am using it for the first time they will open it in front of you and do it right so tattoo doing tattoo is not a problem it's it's up to everyone's personal choice but you should always be careful where you are getting it done just to save maybe some money if you go into places where they do not change needles or where there are lot of customers too much crowded places they will just continue using the same needle and you know that tattoo has to be pierced inside right so that means blood contact happens same way when you go to a parlor when you go to a salon where they shave you use razors you use razors that razors also sometime a person got a cut who is infected that same razor if you are using you will get it okay you will get so that kind of things have to be avoided so our in our government has um, 
come up with national aids control organization which is called as naco to spread awareness to people who are not aware of the causes of aids or who are who are not aware of why you know how can you avoid aids or what is the things that i have to do for that we have come up with a government uh, organization which is called naco and they spread knowledge about it they spread awareness in the types of slogan in the types of ads in types of pop ups on the phones that is what they're doing there are a lot of ngos which are not non government organization there are a lot of ngos which are working on aids you would have seen lot of people who come sunday asking you about you know can you pay one meal money for one meal lot of ngos which work for aids right that is there and then uh, students also uh, you know who also keeps spreading awareness okay who also keeps spreading awareness about how to protect aids how to you know avoid unprotected sex how to avoid our multiple partners right all this they also do okay all this they also do okay then uh, students uh, to make your blood transfusion safe uh, to check every blood bank every blood bank that is there in the country has to make sure that they check when they take blood from an infected person right all these things have been taken care of. other things like the transmission disposal if you are using condoms when you dispose it you have to be careful same way when you uh, use micro needles when you use needle syringes in the hospital those has to be also completely separated they have to uh, you know burn it completely right burn it completely so those kind of things has to be taken care to avoid aids from spreading okay clear to all of you yes or no and there is also uh, world aids day that is uh, celebrated on december 1st okay december 1st to bring awareness to all of them to bring awareness on the same day clear or not students is there any doubt naco ngo right naco ngo students then also uh, i think hmm this one mention here No, it's not mentioned. Here. Okay, I'll write it here. Student, so the treatment, the only uh, treatment that is there. There is no cure. There is no direct cure. It is art. Okay, art. That means uh, you have to. <laughs> okay, students, it is anti-retroviral therapy. Okay, what is it called? Anti-retro. Sorry. Anti-retro. viral therapy okay student one second yes yes okay students so this anti retroviral therapy is actually not a cure it is not a cure because i told you aids cannot be cured very easy because hiv is very very blown virus and you know how fast it works right how fast it works so for that okay students stressers class will be at 7:15 okay 7:15 right so we can finish cancer also so uh, schedule will be at 7:15 so do not miss it so anti retroviral therapy is actually to control to control what to control your reverse transcription for at least some time i'm not telling for a longer run it will go but at least to control your reverse transcription for some time this a art is used art is used are you all with me are you all with me can we go to cancer aids is clear aids is clear this notes also you will be getting i hope every single thing is clear in aids okay very small concept but i have mentioned some more things that is necessary for you people so i hope all of you understood every single thing okay yes or no <laughs> okay so students when we talk about cancer now that we understood aids aids also is a very very deadly disease right same way students cancer now what happens in cancer is that cancer Yeah, the cells are uh, like you know the cells are fully in freedom. 
like if i if i send you people if i send you people without one full day one full day i do not teach you anything and you're fully free right none of us take class on vedanta or need english all of you are very very free what happens you will all become like this butterflies you no know? you will not be in control so that means student this cancer cells are like that they do not have any control they keep proliferating they keep multiplying right so this cancer cells have the ability to multiply in a rate that you cannot imagine but how do they multiply so much how do they multiply so much how do they make masses students they make masses by a simple technique see now i'll tell you how it happens okay now imagine this is a b c d e okay these are all your neighbors these are all your neighbors okay so there is y s sanvi varalakshmi rohini rupa all of these people are there shalini all of them are there they are all neighbors so imagine sanvi bought a car sanvi bought a mercedes benz definitely shalini will get jealous shalini will be like i also want to buy mercedes benz okay so same way sanvi or the cell a has decided that i'm going to stop cell division okay what is it going to tell i am going to stop cell division immediately b also will be like even i'm going to stop cell division because b stop c will stop because c stop d will stop because d stop e will stop same way if you see your neighbor's house a good car you will also want to buy you will also want to buy all of you will want to buy correct but this this process of you know when they come in contact when they come in contact they will stop their multiplication or they stop their division that is called as contact inhibition what is it called as contact inhibition okay students cancer is not that big as aids cancer is a very small topic okay we can finish it fast also students contact inhibition means when i am as a cell in contact with the next cell if i stop cell division this cell also will stop cell division but this cancer cells are not like that they have lost the ability of contact inhibition so you can imagine what is the drama that they are going to do that means is sanvi why mercedes benz or not i am not bothered why is is not bothered okay those two people are like i am i am cancer cell i'm not bothered about what is going to happen i'm not bothered about if sanvi is buying mercedes or sanvi's home me current is not there her house got burnt also cancer cells are least bothered clear so cancer cells are able to multiply so much because they have lost the ability they have lost the ability of contact inhibition they have lost the ability of contact inhibition okay clear now now you will be thinking ma'am then we have other people no like we had our cytokine right your um, cdk remember cdk in your mitosis meiosis we have done g1 phase s phase g2 phase right all this when we studied we understood gateways right we understood people who will stop right like your cdk cyclin right all these people used to stop and tell that oh if you have to cross this you have to cross me it was like the toll gates now imagine the cdk or your cyclin dependent kinase itself not work or the cancer cells you know does not care about cdk they does not care about toll they keep transporting just like that that time also multiplication will happen yes or no students we need them to stop right your cdk will help them to stop cdk itself is not working in cancer cells so cdk is not cancer cells are not bothered about cdk that time also you don't you think cell multiplication will happen so cancer cells are actually cells that have lost contact inhibition and they are also they break down what do they do they break down they break down your cell metabolism or cell regulation okay they break down cell regulation clear yes or no they break down cell regulation <laughs> yes they have abnormal and uncontrolled division yes that is the first word about cancer abnormal they are completely abnormal imagine next house is burning they are not bothered right same way abnormal and uncontrolled cell division okay now students cancer can be like now i told you uncontrolled cell division all that i told you okay so now this uncontrolled division will lead to a mass of cells 
obviously it will lead to a mass of cells right it is obvious because they are completely dividing multiplying 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 they'll form mass of cells yes or no what do i call this mass of cells i call this mass of cells tumor i call this mass of cells tumor or i call this mass of cells neoplasm clear this mass of cells which has been proliferating which has been you know continuously dividing that cells are called mass of cells that mass of cells are called tumor or neoplasm now this tumor or neoplasm okay this tumor or your neoplasm can <coughs> okay let's draw this person so this is a person okay now this tumor or neoplasm can stay in one place okay completely localized in one place okay tumor has formed in this person's body it is completely lo uh, localized in one place that kind of a cancer is called benign cancer okay when uh, uh, when that cancer so your when benign cancer they they just stay in one place so every time the doctor every time the doctor is doing ct scan mri scan it is localized it is staying in that one place but there are some other kinds like example there are some guests who comes to your home as soon as they come they'll get into the kitchen they'll see what and all you made in the kitchen then they'll come to the room they'll open your room and they'll be like oh so dirty you st you you're like a pig you stay in this place they tell like that have you noticed your how can you say stay like this so dirty maybe one two clothes will be on the bed but then they will be very clean tip top people so they'll be like oh my god right they'll go check everywhere that kind of a guest do you like we don't like same way this people stay in one place they came as a guest they will sit in the hall drink tea and go there is another set of guest another set of mass of cells which has come they'll be like anyway i entered the host body i will do a tour i'll do a world tour of the host body i'll go here i'll go there i'll go through the blood vessels i'll reach here right that is called as malignant tumor or malignant cancer got it all of you so you will have benign uh, tumor and your malignant tumor clear do you so here this becomes less dangerous the other person you know the guest who comes in and be like oh how are you sleeping in this place and all those people will get transported everywhere they'll go through the blood vessels everywhere they'll go through the blood vessels everywhere they'll, they'll take world tour of the host body so oh, i came inside so let me just go everywhere right right <laughs> so that kind of people also are there okay so two types of cancers are clear to my students yes or no okay so students look here so normal cells have the properties of contact oh oh double double is coming okay normal cells have the ability to do contact inhibition but this cancer cells have lost the ability to do contact inhibition cancer cells appear to have this lost this property okay now look here cancerous cells just continues to divide giving rise to masses of cells called tumors we taught this we learned this okay now tumors are of two types benignant tumor and malignant tumor your benignant tumor are normally remain confined to their original location that means no matter what they will just stay in that one location they will not go here and there okay and they will not do metas uh, metastasis that means they will not spread spread multiply multiply and go off okay they will not do metastasis but your malignant tumor will do metastasis okay now students they do not spread to the other parts of the body so when you do an mri scan they will see oh this place is there let's remove that let's do a surgery of that right now look here malignant tumor on the other hand are a masses of proliferating cells called as neoplastic cells or tumor cells right these cells grow very rapidly they grow very very rapidly and invading damaging surrounding normal tissues they do everything possible okay as these cells actively actively divide and grow they also starve the normal cells now what happens students in this class only 50 students are allowed imagine i am taking an offline class we have built up a classroom okay we have built a classroom in that classroom only 50 students can come gopika ma'am's class only 50 students can come but 100 students came off because they told that gopika ma'am's teaching is good so they told 100 students because you people told you people told you 50 people went and told gopika ma'am's class is very fun i keep laughing in ma'am's class i also study so many things so many students came off 100 students came instead of 50 students what will happen 
resources will be less no bench no chair my voice is not reaching 100 students you're fighting for pen paper you're pushing one person out of the bench all this will happen so that means when a cell right when the masses of cells are formed there is problem that means the nutrients which are there for the cells will reduce nutrients in the cells which are needed will reduce yes or no correct okay that is the problem that is the problem that means when the cells are more and more instead of 50 100 is coming whatever i prepared so imagine i'm also giving you people food and snacks i bought 50 uh, fruities and i bought 50 samosas but 100 students came now i have to make all the samosas into two pieces then you will cry then you will tell everyone oh gopika ma'am gave us half samosa after promising us to give full samosa that also will happen here same thing is going to happen this cancer cells will start taking all the nutrients from the other cells leaving the other cells to die to starve that is that is the problem yes or no okay so that is your students look here cells lost uh, from such tumors reach distant sites through the blood okay because blood goes everywhere it knows that this is the path i have to take i'll go with the blood okay and wherever they get lodged in the body they start a new tumor there so how are they they go from here to here they'll make new friends there they'll gossip there from that gossip they'll take it to another place they'll be gossip there again they are bbc news right they are bbc news they will keep spreading gossips everywhere wherever they go they'll keep spreading news right okay now students which uh, they get lodged they start a new tumor there this property is called as metastasis that means the property of going so here so many cells are there this cell has gone here here also they will start forming tumor right there also they will start forming tumor got it all of you clear or not so your this one benign tumor is less it is less dangerous and it does not do metastasis metastasis is absent and it will stay in the original place location have you seen some friends if you tell them come in front of Starbucks, they'll go and stand in front of uh, which other cafe do I say? If the, if I tell them to come and stand in front of Starbucks, they'll go and stand in front of some chai wala and they'll be like, I'm standing here. So I'll be like, did I ask you to stand there? No. They'll be like, no. I just found place. Right? And they'll, I, they'll walk 1 kilometer, 2 kilometer, 3 kilometer. They'll go 5, 6 kilometers. After 5, 6 kilometers, they'll call and tell, I didn't see Starbucks. So that is the kind of people malignant tumor benign tumor is not like that if i tell starbucks they'll put location till starbucks stand in front of starbucks okay this malignant chalak these people are very very chalak right so they are very dangerous because the doctors will not be able to find out where the tumor is okay at the same time they will, does not stay they keep spreading students they not only spread students they also form their own blood vessels around this cancer cells as a whole they will start forming their new blood vessels around them okay so that they will get enough supply of oxygen so they don't die they're very selfish they will start forming their own colony only in that area okay so they keep spreading and they do meta stasis clear or not easy simple you have studied this in your 8th standard 10th standard all this you would have studied okay now properties very simple properties students First property is, as I told you, they apoptosis. Apoptosis is absent. That means what? Program cell death is not there. Program cell death is not there. Program cell death means what? When a cell is planning to, you know, die. Right, first the rhizozymes will come, they will kill the organelles, first the organelles get digested, like that they keep going, right, they keep going. So, 
Yes, yes, there is also physical factor, students, there is biological agents for cancer to happen. So, do not worry. Okay, we'll come to that. So, students, apoptosis is absent. That means programmed cell death is absent. Okay, that is absent in your cancer cells. Second one, what did I tell? It has lost ability. It has lost the ability of contact inhibition, full emotions all died. Whatever my neighbor is doing, I am not bothered. I will still keep multiplying. Okay, clear to all of you? <laughs> lost ability to <coughs> contact inhibition they have lost. Students, malignant tumor, benign tumor, both can be detected by your MRI, CT scan, everything. Normal, both the tumors can be recognized the same way. Just that malignant tumor is difficult to cure. That means uh, to kill them, it is difficult. It is kill them, it is difficult. Okay? <laughs> now, I told you about formation of your new blood vessels, right? So, this is tumor, angio, genesis. Students, what is angiogenesis? That means the ability for them to form new blood vessels, right? The ability for them to form new blood vessels around them. Growth factor. So, what are they going to do? They will start forming their own blood vessels. How nice, no? I came to one area, I will build my own supermarket, I'll build my own school, I will build my own tuition center, I'll build my everything own own, I'll start building. No, same way they'll start forming new blood vessels around them. Why? So that they can be transported and they get whatever is required for them to survive. Selfish people? Selfish people? <laughs> Clear? Easy? Easy? Okay. Now we will understand types of cancer. This is a little important. Uh, might not be mentioned very clearly in your textbook. So I will be mentioning this. Okay. Let's first draw the part. Okay. First one is called as carcinoma. Okay. Carcinoma. That means they have allergy with cars. Sarcoma. They have allergy with sir. Okay. Then leukemia. I don't know what they have allergy with. I could not make a name. Okay. First one has allergy with car. Next one has allergy with sir. Next one has allergy with Luke. Some boy called Luke or some girl called Luke. Okay. So students, that is not the thing. Carcinoma or sarcoma, all of this cancers are based on three germ layers. Now we know that when we are formed, right, right when the... Um, Blastula, gastrula, morula, all the stages we have learned about germ layers. Ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm, right? Now, when ectoderm forms tissues that become cancer, when mesoderm forms tissues that become cancerous, that kind of cancers are called as your carcinoma and sarcoma, okay? That means, when the germ layers, you know that germ layers undergo organization, this germ layer will be like, you will become the eye, you will become the nose, you will become this, you will do this function, we tell that, right? That organization time, when ectoderm start forming tissues which are cancerous, that kind of things will end up leading to formation of this cancers. Clear or not? Clear? Yes? So, when ectoderm, right, when ectoderm forms tissues that become cancerous, that become cancerous, that kind of a cancer is called as carcinoma. Now, example is what students? Stomach cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, all of this ectoderm. That, e that means malignant tumor is formed because of the ectodermal tissues. Okay, ectodermal cells. Clear? When the ectodermal tissues form malignant tumor, it is called as carcinoma. Clear or not? Clear or not? Okay? Then, when mesoderm. When mesoderm tumor formed mesodermal tissue okay malignant tumor formed by mesodermal tissue myoma lymphoma all that okay 
myoma that means what muscles right lymphoma lymphoid organs okay clear yes or no easy myoma m m mesoderm think about that m okay m mesoderm myoma like uh, like myoma and your lymphoma okay leukemia students blood cancer okay blood cancer that means your wbcs are getting all damaged right blood cancer easy types of cancer simple 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 dimple yes easy so we have carcinoma sarcoma leukemia car se problem sir se problem look se problem no so carcinoma ectoderm become malign they form malignant tumors because of ectoderm then um, malignant tumors are formed by the mesodermal tissues then you have leukemia which is blood cancer okay easy yes fine <laughs> students causes of cancer how is cancer formed right you people are all discussing right you people are all discussing so you know that cancer is caused by whom carcinogen carcinogen a generation which likes car carcinogen okay now students carcinogen is the causative agent allergen allergy right like that cancer ca carcinogen now this carcinogen can be from different different things okay it could be from physical agents physical agent you will be like ma'am what physical agent right physical agent means students it could be from radiations it could be from ionizations what do i mean by all this that means your x rays gamma rays right uv rays non ionization these are your physical agent that means radiations ionization x rays gamma rays uv rays all that can cause physical agent all of you know skin cancer they tell no because the ozone layer is depleting we will be uh, the main reason like we will have skin cancer more often that's the reason people tell you know um, wear sunscreen cover your hands when you're going to sun when you're having a sports day and all that protect yourself they tell all this right all this they tell why because these acts like a physical agent people who work under uv for a very longer time people who work in labs right when you work in your lf and all we keep your hands inside the uv for a longer time sometimes that time and all our sirs like when we when we were doing research when we used to keep our hand inside uh, lf thinking that oh it's so warm inside let's do it continuously they used to scold us telling that don't keep the uv on for a longer time because your skin is exposed to uv right so this kind of issues can come okay so non ionizing also students that is why they also say don't do other you know um uh, unnecessary you know treatments which have lot of uv exposure all that people say no everything is because of this okay uv rays clear now what could be the chemical agent since we discussed about the physical agent what is the chemical agent chemical agent all of you are aware whenever you go to a theater most of you close eyes close your eyes at one point that is because when they so show you tobacco ad right when they show you tobacco ad you close your eyes because you see how bad oral cancers can be right when you see that you close your eyes so the first reason is your tobacco that means smoking smoking okay smoking is the reason chewing anything with tobacco consuming anything with tobacco can lead to oral cancer right it can lead to your mouth cancer okay tobacco is there soot is there students you know after burning have you seen that black color soot going around everywhere right that one okay then it can also be because of coal tar okay asbestos okay all these are your whichever you have studied in your smaller classes okay all these can lead to your cancer chemical okay vinyl uh, chloride vinyl chloride will lead to liver cancer asbestos lung okay then uh, coal tar again soot tobacco <laughs> oral lung all of this can cause okay this can cause oral plus lung cancer okay 
is this clear is this clear so students if you are thinking that oh i just smoked one today i just smoked two cigarettes today what could have gone wrong students the every time you are smoking you are actually putting in your carcinogen and once this is in once cancer happens you know it is not an easy curable thing it is not something that you can control in your hands it will spread as fast as possible yes or no as fast as possible right so if you are even sitting with a friend and you are supporting that friend to smoke cigarette you can still get cancer it is proven that uh, wives who have been sitting with their husband when they are smoking or you know when uh, friends have been sitting and one person is not non smoker and another person is a smoker many times faster than the smoker the non smoker will get uh, you know what to tell cancer so do not think that oh i'm sitting and watching him smoke so nice he'll get cancer i won't get cancer you are inhaling the same tobacco you are inhaling the same smoke got it so avoid sitting with people who smoke or tell the people who smoke that how dangerous it is it is written on the pack still people ignore that it is shown in every single movies to bring awareness but still people ignore it because it's become an addiction to them right so do not think that oh i'm doing it one day what is going to happen nothing is going to happen your one day will become every day every day will become a lifetime then you will become a chain smoker and then there is no coming back okay then there is no coming back so every time you want to hold it in your hands because you want to look cool in front of your friends it's not cool being healthy is cool being unhealthy is very very uncool when you are suffering from fever the only thing that you would have prayed is please god let me get cured you will not pray that i want money i want bmw when you're sick when you are when you are sick in hospital when you are admitted in icu you will not be like oh let me just relax let me get bmw today or let me eat uh, you know a chicken today or should i eat paneer today that's not your thought your thought is please cure me god that's all your thought is right so health is cool okay health is cool so any friends tell that oh you're not smoking you're uncool tell them health is cool okay we will see where we both will be in after few years okay yes student there is also biological agents what did i say biological agents you will be like ma'am what are biological agents students in our body you will not believe in our body there is something called as proto proto oncogenes proto oncogenes are actually genes which are in our body and it is present in every single person it actually does a good job but the moment this oncogenes mutate mutate it will become cancerous so usually it is off in our body if because of any physical or chemical trigger the oncogenes get activated or because of any other things the uh, proto oncogenes you know becomes from switch off to switch on that means gene regulation lack of proton lack of proton remember gene regulation in case this gets switch on then this will start mutating and start forming tumors so biological agents means the things that are present in our body which is capable of doing cancer clear to all of you clear to all of you there is also tumor suppressor genes which is tsg okay it is called tumor suppressor genes they are on okay they are on to make sure that tumor does not get formed but the but in case they get off in case they stop functioning then tumors they will allow tumor formation okay so these are the two biological agents which are present in our body it it this both can be affected by an viral oncogene that means a virus enters and they give a viral oncogene to our body this can change clear clear okay tsg and proto oncogenes are present in our body one is off one is on on to protect us but in case something happen and gets mutated then both of them will become cancerous to us clear <laughs> yes or no students cancer causes of cancer i've written okay yes then is the detection so as i told you again like if there is no direct cure anything detection that means how can you detect that you have cancer how can you detect that something is going wrong in the class okay what well, something sorry something is going wrong in your body okay that is because of first is your mri students mri is more preferred because this works on magnetic field 
that means um, see compared to your CT scan and everything x-ray and all that x-ray again is cancerous so in MRI is more preferred it's a little expensive that's why people usually first go for x-ray MRI is magnetic field that means the like you when you're continuously doing x-ray there are chances that this x-ray itself become cancerous to us so MRI scans are helpful in that way because they work on magnetic field right magnet that is not very harmful okay that is the way of detecting it MRI then your x-ray or ultrasound so all of this we um, do it by taking a sample sometime if it is benign tumor then we take that portion surgically we remove it so surgery will be the first option in case it is malignant tumor we'll see the cell number histopathology that means we see the cell number and we understand that oh the number is increasing the number is too much if number is too much what do we understand that means there is an unstopped multiplication happening in our body correct okay now students pet is there pet scan that means um persistron emission tomo tomography so tomography also happens okay then we have computerized tomography that is your ct scan okay ct scan is there biopsy is there again see during a biopsy a sample of cells is collected by uh, expert for testing in the laboratory so by in the difference in the number difference in the number they will understand that oh this person has cancerous cells in their body because the number is multiplying and multiplying and this looks un like it's not normal it's not normal they'll understand right these are some of the ways and also students bone marrow test because i told you all of this will at attack your t cells correct all of this will attack your cell mediated immunity so when your immunity is reducing we will automatically understand that something is wrong right something is wrong okay students now what is the how do i treat it like that means how do now i understood i detected it because mri ct scan there's no much explanation you just have to know the terms full form of all of this mri pet scan ct scan you have to know these are additional in your ncrt this much is not mentioned okay now students the process of treatment depends on the type of cancer if you have benignant uh, cancer surgical removal will be the easiest one because the cancer is localized remove that okay so first option is surgery if it is bt okay benignant tumor it is easier chemotherapy uh, chemotherapy is there oh see window okay chemotherapy is there that means sending radiations and trying to kill the cells right trying to kill the cancerous cells by sending radiations okay but uh, you know after chemotherapy most of the time a person's hair right they lose their hair okay they become very um, tired and lethargic okay we can't we can't say lethargic they actually um, become their metabolism they completely feel tired they will be always want to be in bed rest they will lose their hair hair loss okay and they lose a lot of weight loss of weight these all you were you would have seen people who get chemotherapy right they will lose their hair they will lose a lot of weight you cannot even understand them that that much changes happens during a chemotherapy and it is a very very painful method it's a very painful method because they're sending inside and they're trying to kill as many cancer cells possible sometimes our own cells get killed during this time okay and our sometimes after chemotherapy a lot of people survive but some people you know cannot survive after chemotherapy okay then you have hormonal therapy immunotherapy radiation therapy all of these therapies are focused on the same thing but then in see now in immunotherapy they will make sure that the immune system right to improve the immune system and to also make sure that through the immune system we will be able to help this person in some way to you know make sure that the cells are not proliferating or some way we get a little controlled okay a little control clear <coughs> yes or no so students this is what is mentioned in your ncrt i want to in i want to tell you about alpha interferon very importantly okay and also one more very important thing i think i'll write it here students here i will also write about one thing which was asked in nc not uh, ncrt previous one of the years they had asked about this <laughs> what is happening yes weight loss i mentioned students yes i mentioned yes anemia will happen yes correct all of you are correct about this so students there is an antibody against the cancer antigen okay that means what very important so i'm writing it in another color okay there is an anti body against cancer antigen 
okay that means what we know that antigen is the cancer like the whatever is ca causing cancer that is the antigen we send antibodies we form antibodies against that okay ready made passive immunization right passive immunity that way we would do it so your um, antibody against your um, antigen method okay are you all with me are you all following so far yes or no students the antibody that we use the antibody that we use against the cancer antigen is her herceptin herceptin is the antibody that we use against the cancer antigen okay this is also one way of uh, treatment again not a very like a like oh yes this is enough we found a solution for it no students we are hoping i am hoping that one among you in this batch will be able to actually find a cure for cancer or actually be able to find a cure for aids okay that is why these these things you are studying right so many people are working on it many ngos are working on it many uh, you know institutes are working on it right there is also a uh, institute for aids right which is there in pune so there are institutes who are working on it so we i hope one among you people be able to find a cure for aids and uh, save a lot of people from india especially and also save a lot of people all around the world because that is why you people are going to be future doctors that's why i always call you future doctors because you should not underestimate what you are being a doctor is not a simple thing right you can be a light to the entire world there are a lot of people who are trying to find a medicine we pray and hope that one among you will be able to find a medicine and i will be the most proudest teacher that day i will walk around everywhere in newspaper i'll walk around telling that this was my student this was my student right so yes i hope okay students so uh, that is clear no antibody against the uh, cancer antigen is your herceptin okay then we have alpha interferon students uh, so look here treatment for cancer which i already told that is the same thing that is mentioned here okay hair loss happens anemia happen they have mentioned uh, other techniques are surgery radiotherapy chemotherapy they have mentioned but here there is one thing which is a catch students this alpha interferon is actually a biological response modifier that means what happens is sometimes this cancer cells are so so smart that they make our own immune system to think that oh we are all friends we both are friends that means cancer cells and the normal cells are friends that means it makes the immune system does not understand that i am a foreigner i am a cancer cell it does not sometimes it manipulates sometimes it's manipulate so it is a biological so the patients are given substances called as biological response modifier which is the alpha interferon which will be able to understand that this is cancer cell he is not my friend that they will understand sometimes you people don't understand no fake friends and true friends and all you people put uh, status and keep crying no same way sometimes our body also does not understand who is the fake ones it will think that it's my own keep smiling giggling be happy provide all the nutrients that is required for it later it will understand ayyo this is a cancer cell right to avoid that ayyo moment they we give alpha interferons to the patients so that it can identify the cancer cells are not our own self i mean are not our own self cells okay so that is what your alpha interferons do okay <laughs> clear yes yes my blessings are always there with you people yes it is like an anti carcinogen but then we cannot call it anti carcinogen because they are not actually directly doing see anti carcinogen will be like your um are you talking about herceptin yes it can be called as an anti carcinogen alpha interferon is a biological response modifier response modifier which actually a allows the cells self cells to understand self cells to identify cancer cells clear okay which activates their immune system immune system slept off okay and helps in destroying the tumor immune system slept off thinking that oh friend friend is there no inside the body what will i do right friend is there inside the body and the immune system slept off so when we give alpha interferon it will immediately activate okay it will activate remember your cytokinin barriers interferons will be sent interferons will give signal to the cells same way this interferon will give signal to immune system telling that you wake up please that is a danger 
terrorist has come go kill something and do something about it so it will start destroying the tumor clear clear yes moye moye will happen for this uh, uh, our immune system okay because it was sleeping clear done and dusted yes ready for rapid fire because i promised rapid fire i will do rapid fire because i i borrowed 15 minutes from shreya sir okay so we will do quick rapid fire students before so i hope all of your notes are open okay all of your notes are open for rapid fire ready we'll do fast fast okay we have to be quick so that we do not uh, you know disturb sir's class also okay students one more thing i'll add okay one more thing i'll add here students uh, two drugs have been given okay vincistrin okay vincistrin and vinblast these both are actually um, you know extracted from your vinca rosi extracted from vinca rosi which acts as an anti cancer drug okay which acts like an anti cancer drugs that means it will help in the controlling of mitosis so the um, mitosis so cell division does not take place okay just know the name vincistrin and vinblastin which acts as an anti cancer drug that will they will control mitosis so cell division proliferation does not happen they are extracted from vinca rosi okay so students before rapid fire let me tell you one thing students um, we are doing a 7 years pyq okay 7 years pyq do you understand how many years 7 years pyq we are giving you for free okay all you have to do is go to the description box and click on the link and just join just join and do the dpp quiz okay 7 years pyq okay only available on vedanto neat english so do not miss it everything here we are giving for free so if you people are still not doing it students it's your fault and you are the losers not us because when so much things is given for free if you still don't take it that means you are cheating yourself you should be guilty oh my god so much they're doing for free why am i not doing it you should ask yourself right who is going to lose at the end are we going to lose no we will have next batch of students you will be the one who lose next batch next year again you will have to study all this so do not be a loser be a winner choose what is right for you and be smart okay and students what is the point of you joining a telegram see this telegram has everything for you you have weekly schedule you have daily quizzes every single day quizzes are there from all the topics that means biology physics chemistry we keep putting quizzes and you have weekly live sessions right you get all the updates of our live sessions daily sessions pdf that means the moment i finish this class the pdf will be on the telegram channel you will not get this notes anywhere else okay you will have weekly mock uh, mock test which we are introducing again we are also going to start you week mock weekly mock test where every week you will have a mock test okay every week like how you are already having now sunday mock test no that itself we will we have um, taken all your things into consideration and we are giving only the chapters that we are finishing there okay and then you have super 6 series okay and the telegram is vedantu neat english telegram channel there's around 4000 plus people so join quickly so you can see here notification comes your links come your quizzes come okay and your pdfs also come okay pdfs also come then here students how do you join the quiz how do you join the quiz when you go to the link description box you click on the link and then when you join you will be seeing this i think most of you have already done it start test enter start test basa sir has shown you in the last class you can go check the video there also it is shown just go to the description click on the link enter your phone number and join the test okay mock paper exactly like your neat paper who where else you will get tell me please where else you will get you will get it only here okay so do that also solutions everything your performance report also we will be giving yes results will be given tomorrow your results will be out whenever the results are out it will be posted on vedantu telegram okay students and telegram quiz that means every day we are dropping the quiz so every time you answer a question there will be continuous quizzes happening on all the topic physics chemistry and bio that also you will be able to answer so it's like a refresh like you are scrolling phone and you see one instagram reel suddenly telegram one notification comes you go answer one quiz maybe you will get four marks from it who knows right so you shouldn't miss any of this opportunities clear or not 
so do not miss this i will show you the link on the description also before that we'll just finish the rapid fire because um stress those classes there right yes students so rapid fire first question ready first go oh. quickly you have to answer okay no time no longer time so quick yes tell me what is alpha interferons doing tell me alpha interferons are what okay alpha interferons are what second question let me also see okay proto oncogenes proto oncogenes are generally off or on in our body proto oncogenes are generally off or on in our body okay wow wow instagram is so strong that you people are telling that ma'am instagram telegram does not affect us wow wow very smart okay <laughs> this sentence and all you remember and keep after your may 5th i'll ask you that time also you prefer telegram or instagram yes yes or no okay tell me this <laughs> label this and label this okay label this both of them label what is this yes ma'am second question what ma'am second question response modifier yes very good biological response modifier very good very good they are biological response modifier amazing what are proto oncogenes are they off or on proto oncogenes very good praveen proto oncogenes are off in our body right in the starting right only if it gets mutated it will become on yes yes rupa very good students rapid fire students like fire have you seen how fire burns even without putting petrol also i have to keep telling students please put fast please put fast my throat is gone students so please little fast you have to do that's why it's called rapid fire very good gp what have you put gp 41 amazing gp 41 one more question one more question i'll ask from your previous topic previous topic <laughs> yes okay tell me this which is the largest antibody in size largest in size okay largest antibody largest antibody in size very good very good gp120 gp41 off on good job tell me students which is the largest antibody last question largest antibody two more minutes left be quick very good deepa and rupa crazy dude very good very good others all sleeping huh? yes very good very good yes shivakumar divya shaina yes igm is the largest one igm is the largest one quick recap over quick recap over yes or no yes or no okay so like that we have completed our amazing session of aids and cancer and students in here okay in uh, hiv there are two types of hiv hiv1 and hiv2 hiv1 is the most common okay i'll just write it here for students who wants to know about it is the most common okay it is seen usually in america india and all okay hiv2 is very rare this is rare species it is seen only in africa okay extra knowledge extra knowledge you will be like mama i can't study whatever you are teaching only again you are giving extra knowledge also students you have to bear with extra knowledge right yes are we done are we done okay all of you look here this is your youtube now you are on my this one right so look here can you all see pyqs okay pyqs join the telegram channel solve ncrt based questions okay and your 7 years pyqs look here is 7 year pyqs you click on this you will be going to one page you here you enter your phone number click on next and go to next okay yes and if you go here again 
See, can you see the questions? Yes. Bas, 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 the students. See students, you will get this entire PDF for free. Okay, entire PDF for free. Are you all with me on this? And uh, students, NCRT based question. See here, okay. Right. Your tele uh, telegram, once you go to your telegram, you will be able to see that. Okay, join our telegram also quickly. Clear? Yes or no? Yes, we are finally done with the session. We have completed AIDS and cancer. 8 marks. 8 marks I have given you. Okay, 8 marks I have given you in 2 hours. So, quickly join for share sir session. It's already 1 minute late. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. See you all. Take care. Have fun. And join share sir session without fail. Okay, bye students. See you all.